Stug here, and I'm back at it again with another pay-per-view prediction for a WWE pay-per-view event. So, this pay-per-view is Money in the Bank. That's right, it's Money in the Bank. Are you going to be the one to cash in and go all out and get what you deserve? We'll soon find out who will be Mr. Money in the Bank for 2016. So, guys. If you're watching this right now, good on ya. Watching my prediction video for the 2016 WWE pay-per-view Money in the Bank. So, this one is similar to, it's got like the card lineup that is for this event is like a WrestleMania type of card in, in like certain matches. And some matches, no. Other matches, yes. 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 So guys, we're going to start off with the pre-show predictions and who I'm rooting for and how it's going to end in my perspective. So, first one on the card, the Dudley Boys versus the Lucha Dragons. Now this match got thrown into it at like the last moment and I was like, this match makes no sense. Unless you're giving the Dudleys a push or you're going to give the Lucha Dragons a push or you're going to bring in a team to destroy both teams. Maybe they'll finally give the Ascension a push by Connor coming back, because he's bound to come back very, very soon. So maybe Connor and Victor come out, lay out the dragons, lay out the Dudley boys, and send an impact. Who knows? But with this one, I am rooting for good old-fashioned Dudley. I'm rooting for Dudleys to win this match, however, I am predicting Lucha Dragons to win by pin. And who to win for them is Kalisto. Second match is Golden Truth vs. Three Zango. Now this match, we've been waiting for this match uh, for a while. We've seen two matches previous of these two teams going head to head. Both times, Brizango won because of mis uh, miscommunication between Gone True, and they had down their Zen Mojo type of shit. But, however, I do have a feeling that this will be the one for the Gone True. It will be either the seal the deal, or it will just fuck them over, and then that's it. Now, Breezengo is a good team. These two match in their tires now, they get along, their egos are fucking identical. Tyler is like, you know, obsessed with his looks, and Fandango is obsessed with dancing and dusting and shit like that. Whereas the other two look like oddballs in a way, in a sense, but they're funny and we like them like that. So in this match I am rooting for the Golden Troop to win and I predict the Golden Troop to win by Pinfall and R Troop to get the pin. So now those two were on the pre-shows guys, so let's get in to the main Card. So there are two matches on the pre-show, we got eight matches on the main card that we know of. There could be other matches, there could be some big things happening backstage, or a little promo cut. We don't know. We'll just have to find out later on today, guys. So, first match on the card is one that we've seen many, many times before. Dolph Ziggler vs. Baron Corbin. Now, this is the third pay-per-view in a row of these two going head-to-head. -head. And yet, they're still going at it. Like, the first pay-per-view we had, I think it was Corbin won. And then, this, like, he won by the low blow and whatnot. I'm pretty sure he did, yeah. And then, was it the second pay-per-view? Well, that was the second pay-per-view. Unless Corbin's won both. I, I can't remember. I'll have to go back over and look at my notes. <laughs> but, in this match, I'm rooting for Duff Ziggler, of course. Because it's Mr. Ziggler. But, I am predicting Corbin to win and by pinfall. How, why do I reckon that he will win? Because I reckon that WWE, if they do not let him win this uh, to end their rivalry, it will kind of make the whole rivalry like, what the fuck was that for? Like, you know, you're going head to head with Ziggler so many times, have big matches with him, and then you fail. And they've done that for a lot of other super stuff before. So that's the prediction for the match, guys. Next match is Apollo Crews versus Sheamus. Now this match, this match has potential to help Apollo. Ever since coming to the main roster, he's 
he was like hype at first. Everyone loved him. And then after a couple of weeks, it kind of like started to settle down and more people are back in like Enzo and Cass because they got more energy around him. And Apollo, who came in at the same time, is fading away. And on NXT, as like Enzo and Cass were really popular on NXT, Apollo was pretty popular on NXT. So ever since coming to the main roster, the fans weren't really ready for Apollo. It's like he did, and he didn't really do much. He got one title shot on NXT, and that was it. And he he lost because of Corbin, I think it was. It was either Corbin or Joe. I think it was Corbin. So this one, I am rooting for Apollo to win. I'm rooting for Apollo to win. I predict he will win, and by pinfall, reason why to be why I predict that he will win is because the movie needs to have him beat someone legitimate and Seamus will help him get over. Seamus will bully him, Seamus will beat him up, the crowd will get behind Apollo, because Seamus, you know, he, he can rile the, the fans up, he can, he, he puts on good matches. And as much as people don't like him, he does do good matches. So, why am I going for Seamus? Well, I reckon that Apollo will most likely win. I do like Seamus still, but I reckon Apollo can pull off the win, and if he doesn't, he needs to go back to NXT because it's not really working out on the main roster just yet. Maybe go down there for a couple of months, two, three months, come back up, and there you go. So, next one after that is the WWE Women's Tag Team Match. So, unfortunately the title, uh, the title is not on the line, so Charlotte's not defending it. So the people in this match are Charlotte and Dana Brooke, Versing Becky Lynch and Natalia. So this match was thrown together about a week and a half before the pay-per-view. So this match is kind of like, well, Charlotte's getting a free, you may as well say she's getting a free month off of not defending her title, which in my opinion is bullshit because she just got rid of her dad. And how are you going to try and cement it your legacy? So you got being champion. You've grabbed Dana Brooke and you hold him onto her, and then you're not going to defend the title because you want to go and do a tag team match. So in this match, even though Dana, one of my favourites, is on the other team, I do not like Charlotte. So because of that, sorry Dana, but I am rooting for Becky because I like Becky more than Dana as well. <laughs> I'm rooting for Becky and Natalia to win. I am predicting they will win and I predict by submission and Becky will get the win probably on Dana. And then we head into the WWE Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Championship match between The New Day, The Club, Enzo and Cass and The Void Villains. So all four teams battle in, uh, are going head to head and battling it out for the titles. This match should be a good match. This match is one of the matches that you could pretty much say is WrestleMania type material. All the matches before that aren't. This match is. However, it all comes down to how the match goes. Now in this match, there are multiple teams that I want to win. I want the New Day to, to retain. I want the club to win and be champs. I want Enzo and Cass to win and be champs. Board villains, nah, push them aside. <laughs> they don't need it yet. Not just yet, they, they still need to kind of fix up their gimmick a little bit more. Like, I do like Gotch, but other than that, no. Nah. So with those three teams, who, who am I rooting for? I'm rooting for Enzo and Cass in this, but I'm predicting the club, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, to win the, char uh, to win the championships. And I predict that Carl will get the win on one of the board bills. So that's that match. Next match is the United States Championship match between Rusev and Titus O'Neil. This match kind of is to make Rusev look dominant, I guess. Because Titus won't win the title. He just got back from a 90 day suspension about like a month ago. He hasn't done shit all since he's been back. Like, if you gave the title shot to him before he left on suspension, I would have been like, yes, okay, he does deserve it. He's been gone for 90 days, comes back, been there for 30 days, and has done shit all since. Except for, like, run out and save Kalisto and Sinkara see character from getting wrecked. <laughs> but in this match, I am rooting for Rusev 
I'm predicting Rusev to win and by submission because Titus. Maybe in a couple more months you might deserve it. Right now, no. Next match is one of the other WrestleMania type of matches. It is John Cena versus AJ Styles. Now, this match is going to be good. I hate John Cena, but I love AJ. So, of course, you can tell exactly who I'm going to be going for. Cena better not bury him because if he does, oh my god, so many people are going to be pissed. So, AJ needs to win this match. He has a terrible record from the WWE PVB since debuting. Lost to Rumble, lost to Jericho. Pretty much he's lost to Roman twice. So, it's not going well for pay per wise. He needs this big win, and who to get the big win on is John Cena. Now, that will help him. He's already over with the fans, but the heel turn kind of like, put a bit of a sour twist into it. However, I am predicting AJ to win. I'm rooting for AJ, and I predict he will win by pinfall because John Cena never gives up, apparently even though he gave up twice before in, in the past. But I don't think he will tap or give up because, yeah, if he does, then just burn all the shirts. <laughs> but AJ, he does have the potential to make him tap, but I do reckon he will probably win with either the phenomenal forearm or the Styles Clash. Probably the forearm to the face. So probably like four of them in a row maybe, and that might knock Cena the fuck out. <laughs> but yeah. So, AJ for the win, Cena, you back the fuck up, boy. Next match, second last match on the card. This is another WrestleMania type of match, like material type of match. It is the Money in the Bank match. So, in this match, you have Dean Ambrose, Zemi Zayn, Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Alberto Del Rio, and Chris Jericho. Now, there was meant to be a seventh person. Could there still be a seventh person? I don't know, hopefully, because Six people, you know, everyone's got one person to fight. Whereas if you throw a seventh person into that, it is interesting because then someone has to always be able to have the head on a swivel because one person could easily just run up and climb. But I don't know, it makes it interesting to six people. So in this match, I am rooting for Dean Ambrose. And I am also like for Babyface, I'm rooting for Dean, for Heel. Kevin Owens. Those are the two I'm rooting for in this match. Um, I do like a lot of other people in the match, but prediction to win, Dean Ambrose to win because of that whole segment with the Shield type of, you know, segment where he said, you know, I can cash in on either of Seth and Roman. So that's interesting. That's got a lot of things going through my mind that he'll most likely win it. So I predict him to win. And yeah, second person that could win is Sami Zayn, I reckon and then probably Owens. So those are the three top, one, two, three, so Dean, Zane, Owens. People that could take the seventh position if there is that is either Randy Orton returning or Bray Wyatt. Those two are the ones that I reckon could be the seventh man if there is a seventh man in the whole match. Now we head to the main event. It is the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Now this match, it's going to be a good match. We've been waiting for this match forever. You have the champ, the guy, versus the guy, uh, the, the guy who never lost the title and is still champ in my book. The man, Seth Rollins. So, of course you know who I like in this match. It's like with AJ and Cena match. But I do like Roman, whereas with Cena, I hate Cena. So with Roman, I like Roman, but I love Seth. So Seth, rooting for Seth to win, predicting Seth to win, and by pinfall. So that's that prediction. This match, it would be good for Seth to win, but if Roman somehow gets the win, which I don't believe he will, but if he somehow gets the win, I really do hope that this prediction comes true, that I predict that if Roman wins and retains, Whoever won the ca if Dean won the title, like the Money in the Bank briefcase, he will cash in on Roman and take. Now, if Seth wins, I don't want Dean to cash in. I don't want him to cash in. I don't want anyone to cash in. Not at all. Not for a while until he loses it, and then I can cash in. So if Roman retains, cash in instantly. If Seth wins, no one, no one cash in. <laughs> so guys, 
That is the Money in the Bank pay-per-view prediction video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the results video, which will be up after the pay-per-view. I'll try and get up as soon as possible, so you can all know the results if you have not watched it, or you, ha you can't watch it on the WWE Network, which I will be doing. Guys, if you like this episode, make sure you hit that like button hard. But not too fucking hard, don't break the computers. You guys, hit that subscribe button to join the Dark Squad. And spread the word of the jinx to everybody you know. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links are in the description down below. And as always, guys, stay awesome. Hit up that comment section to let me know what your predictions are for this pay-per-view. I'll read them and I'll respond with what I think could happen with those predictions. The G-Stock is out of here. See ya.